All right, I thought it might be a fun little video to compare the base tonality of the delays in the Strymon timeline to what the Fractal AX8 can do. Uh, I'm basically going to try the digital delay and then the Bucket Brigade tape and ice delays up against the AX8 because I figure those are probably the delay types that people are most interested in. For most of the clips, I'm going to start with the filter and the grit on the timeline on zero and I will set the repeats totally off. The Strymon is in a parallel effects loop with the mix set to 100% set to kill dry and then the AX8 delays are also going to be in a parallel row set similarly. I'm going to turn the modulation off on both of them and then we'll play around with them each and dial them in and for convenience I'm going to do all the fractal editing in AX8 edit and we'll have a close-up of the timeline. I'm going to play my Fender Strat from 1977 with Sir ML pickups in it and I think I'm using the uh, Mark IV Clean model in the AX8 with one of the stock IRs. So that's all pretty good. The timeline is in a stereo effects loop of the AX8. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. Basically, uh, they sound really, really close, but uh, don't take my word for it. Have a listen to some of the delay tones. Okay, here is a direct sound. This is the uh, neck and the middle position of my strap. <laughs> The timeline is in the effects loop, so this is what the timeline sounds like on the digital delay setting. Okay, so those are the digital delay modes. What we're gonna try next is the Bucket Brigade delay. So I'll flick over to that one on the Strymon. And I do have a setting here in my AX8 blocks library that I created, which should be BBD slash tape, great. So that is ready to go. This is what the AX8 Bucket Brigade delay sounds like. Now if I set the filter to halfway on the Strymon, it starts to sound a little more like the Fractal. Let's have a listen to that. Now what we can add with the Strymon is a little bit of grit. So if I turn that up to halfway, the way we would emulate this on the AX8 is by going into the delay block, going to tone slash duck and using the drive. So I'll turn the drive up halfway and this is what the Strymon sounds like. So what I might do is turn the drive down just a little bit. Let's have a listen to that. I can then add some modulation on the Strymon. Let's say I set the depth all the way up and just a little bit of speed. It's gonna sound like this. And then if I do a similar thing on the AX8, let's use the modulation here. I'll turn the rate right down and I'll set the LFO depth around 50%. And then all the way up. And from the sounds of things, it sounds more like the Strymon has like a triangle waveform. I don't know if this is the case, but just to my ears. So that's a little bit heavy. I'll turn the LFO depth down a bit. Let's try that. And then compare it to the timeline. Let me turn the speed up a little bit here.
So as you can hear, pretty similar. They each have their subtleties, but it sounds like you could dial each of them in to sound like one another. I'm gonna switch over to the tape delay now. I'll turn the filter and the grit off as well as the modulation off on the Strymon, and we've already got those preset off on the AX8. So here is the AX8 tape delay. So you can hear that the timeline is a little bit brighter at the default filter setting, so let's set that to halfway. And at those settings, they're indistinguishable to me. I can't tell you which one's which. They sound really similar. So let's crank the grit up on the timeline and on the tape delay in the AX8, we'll also turn the drive up to five. Let's have a listen to these now. Here's the AX8. So there you go, those two sound really similar again, and uh, the parameters kind of match up. The AX8 obviously has a bunch more parameters, and there are the advanced parameters in the timeline where you can play, away, play around with tape speed and low end and things like that, which is really cool. So moving right along, let's use the ice type. And in order to get this going in the AX8, I'm actually gonna have to use a pitch block. So I'm gonna use the crystals preset on there. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. Uh, let's go back to that in AX8 Edit. Uh, this is a crystallizer, and this is sort of like the classic Eventide style thing. Sounds like this. This is the AX8. <laughs> So they obviously sound a fair bit different, although they're doing a similar thing. The other option you can use in the AX8 is the multi-delay. And if we use the Plex Shift settings, it sounds like this.
And again, you can hear the sort of advanced parameters in the Strymon really need to be tweaked out to get sound like the Fractal or vice versa. You've got these slice times, uh, which you can set to medium or short. Uh, on the Strymon, the short one sounds like this. And again, they sound really similar without doing any tweak any more tweaking on the Strymon. You know, you can tweak the filter, obviously the time, the repeats, all that kind of stuff. So all in all, these two devices can do very similar things. Obviously the AX8 does a whole bunch more in terms of amp modeling and effects and everything like that. Uh, but if you're an AX8 user and you're really pining for that sort of Strymon tone, you can easily dial it in on your AX8 and vice versa. If you're a Strymon user and you want to get some of these sort of fractal style delays, you probably already know that you can do it with this thing because the timeline is so easy to use and interface with. So uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, basically, I'm a fractal user and I just bought a timeline and I really like it. And uh, I know now that I can definitely get those timeline tones happening in the box in the AX8. So that makes me pretty happy. But obviously the timeline's a great tool because the knobs are right there and you can tweak it. And uh, you know, it's certainly an inspiring tactile device to use. Uh, not saying that the AX8 isn't because with Axed it's just an amazing tool. So both amazing tools, uh, they can both do the same job in your rig. So uh, yeah, basically go and make some music with them and enjoy them and write lots of lush songs with beautiful delays. Cheers.